Yo, what up, Street Talks? Eric Kim, or right, the thought. How to become rich, easy, quickly, and fast. So, this is the basic gist. So, I think the biggest problem that we got in modern day life is we's, we're being suckered by the system to desire things X, Y, and Z, which are actually not really necessary. Now, I'm all for capitalism and consumerism and stuff like that. But uh, with a grand caveat. So, so certainly, you know, capitalism and consumerism has lifted so many people out of poverty. It's improved the quality of living for so many individuals. But the big problem is it kind of forces us to live in this weird anticipation of wanting, you know, superfluous things, which is actually often contrary to our own personal goals. Let me give you an example. It seems that the, the basic thing is everyone wants to be quote, quote, happy, right? Like I, I've never met anybody who doesn't want to be happy, but the problem is the notion of being happy is hugely socialized. You know, what makes me happy isn't necessarily what makes you happy and vice versa. And actually the big problem, and this afflicts all classes in society, America and beyond, we essentially, like the, the easiest way to get rich is to actually prefer a life of quote, quote, poverty, or like prefer a ghetto lifestyle or a more frugal lifestyle. So for example, um, you know, honestly at this point, I have enough money to last me like 10 lifetimes. But I'm like my, my friend uh, Todd Hada, T-O-D-D-H-A-T-A, is that like, it brings me a lot more joy in life when I get a good deal on something. When I spend a lot of money on something, I just feel kind of stupid. So for example, I bought a iPhone Pro in cash, right? Or credit card, whatever, you know, a thousand bucks, whatever. And you know, I could probably afford to buy 200 of those. But I don't know, I just like use it for a few days and I'm like, this is good, but it's like, I just feel kind of stupid. I'm like, dude, I'm dropping a grand on a phone. I just feel kind of dumb. And also part of that was the anxiety related to having a thousand dollar phone. Like for example, you know, I would be working at the park and just toss my phone on the side and then be like, oh shit, what if someone steals it? Or you know, even walking with the, the phone in your pocket, you're afraid it's going to slip out, it's going to break, you're going to lose it. Whereas you buy like, you know, I just bought, I was at the mall, bought a a used Motorola Z3 Play phone, 150 bucks. I'm like, this is such a great deal. And then it works super fast. It's got the newest Android, whatever. And so I just feel smarter. I feel like I got a better deal. And the, the upside is I could live more carelessly, more carefree like. So for example, you know, I could be walking around with my Rolex, but it's gonna cause me anxiety because what if someone like snatches it or cuts off my wrist or whatever it may be. So it seems that the, the fastest road to, uh, becoming rich or having a, a wealth mentality it's like dude if you're like you know you don't matter how rich you are how much money you're making you can be making like five hundred thousand dollars a year if you're still wanting to buy like a stupid house or buying a new tesla or a lambo whatever it's like you're always going to be under the shackles of uh, capitalism consumerism but i think the upside is you know make a lot of money but uh live like 10 times more frugally or cheaply than you could actually afford. So essentially it's like, <laughs> it's like downgrading your lifestyle, downgrade your lifestyle in order to up, up, upgrade your happiness and your carefreeness and your joy and stuff like that too. And, and actually, I, I actually found out that it's, it's actually more useful to like look poor than you actually are because people treat you better actually, more honestly and stuff like that. Whereas, you know, I think the really rich people, it's so funny, they, you know, based on like some really rich people I've met in the past, most of them look pretty modest, you know, either drive a Toyota, a Honda, or maybe at best a Lexus, which is essentially an expensive uh, Toyota. Um, brand names, none. And uh, they actually pay a lot of things in cash. I think probably the one of the best pieces of advice I got from one of my students in the past, I think it was David, um, lives out in Beverly Hills, shout out. He pays everything in cash except flights, which you need a credit card. And the upside is that, you know, sure you don't get the points on your credit card or whatever, but you just end up saving so much money because once you tangify money, you'll just end up squandering it less. So, you know, even for me, 
so funny they talk about like health right i like dude i only eat industrial meats i pay 99 cents a pound for pork and i could eat like a king and so it's essentially like living like a baller on a budget you know i go to the cheap grocery stores price right essentially the store for cool, cool ghetto people and maybe this is towards a more ghetto fabulous lifestyle seems like the ideal goal